Hey guys, it's Jonathan with Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1973 Oldsmobile Tornado. This might be one of the nicest ones in existence, 33,000 original miles. Please be sure to like and subscribe below so we can give you more content. The paint quality on this specific car, I'd rate a nine out of 10. Extremely clean, extremely detailed. Still has the original bumperettes. Look at how nice the sheen is on it. It's beautiful brown with uh, gold striping, and then the interior has brushed gold, which I'll show you later on. The bumpers are in excellent condition with no pitting. I do see, actually nothing, that's just a little bit of water. The chrome is really, really nice. You have your chrome buckets for the quad headlights, and all your markers look good. The rubber looks good as well. There's no chips or marks in there. There's your bumperettes, these are original. And then one of them does have a little bit of wear. I'll show it to you a little bit later on. The hubcaps. I love the turbine style hubcaps. And we've got our uh, magical guest Clive walking across the field. Oh, his pants match the car. But the driver's side is extremely clean. All the body lines are great. You've got beautiful hand painted stripes. Uh, this was out of a former collection in Texas where we purchased it. Got a nice Tornado badge right here and then you have your door protector. When you start to look underneath it, I don't know if you can get down there, but look at how clean it is. It's perfect. Let's come on back up here and I'll open up the door for you. You've got a nice vinyl top with no rips or tears or bubbles. And then I love it. They have, your, they have like a hidden tail light back here. All the trim looks good, all the chrome looks good. Right work, Tornado badge. Original sticker right here, door cards. And then look at all the attention to detail for the pull straps. Original rubber here, carpet's in great shape. All the lights are illuminating. And then look at that interior with the gold, with the brushed gold. Oh my gosh. What's cool about this is powered by a 455 and it's front wheel drive. So you have a floorboard that's completely flat that gives the occupants more room. You can look at the brake pad or brake pedal and notice that it doesn't have much wear in it. So that's giving you a little bit of a knowledge in regards to the mileage. And wait till I pop the hood. Let's just go ahead and do that now. You have power windows, which all work. And then you do have a power seat with tilt. This is the coolest part of the car. So like, look at how big the hood is. Where do you think the motor is? Probably in the middle. Oh, well, I guess. You're probably right. Look at this. Oh. So it's front wheel drive, so you have your transmission there, but then it has axles that go over like go over to each side. So it's a 455, tons of power. People take these out and put them in airboats. Torque machines. Look at how clean it is. The engine bay has been detailed for sure. A little bit of dust. Brand new battery. AC works as well. And then look at all the attention to detail. These springs were taken off and sandblasted and all of the paint, just beautiful. Alternator is in great shape, looks to be original. And then uh, the fan, let's see, yeah, still work. You got your coolant reservoir right here. The original baggie for your intake that goes to the front near the lights. So you can see it right there. Manifolds have been cast blasted, which looks nice. And it does have an even burn pattern on the paint, so that means that it's running properly. You can actually get in there, and I could turn the key. Super smooth, super quiet, and very, very healthy. We'll go for a ride shortly. Let me close this, and we'll pop the trunk so you can see the remainder of the vehicle. Then we'll go inside and take it for a ride. Come with me. Here's your gas cap. So the rear bumperette looks great. I don't see any scratches. Chrome looks good. I see minor imperfections on the original bumperettes. You can see that. That's pretty much all I could pick on this car. Open up the trunk. Spare tire, original t wheel. And then we pulled back some of the insulation so you could see that the metal's original and clean. And it is. Underneath here, same thing. This is just adhesive that they use. It's not rust. Hey, Paul. This is Paul. I 
passenger side looks the same as the driver's side. Extremely clean and even. Hubcaps look good. Front fender looks great. And those pinstripes really set it off. And then uh, another damaged piece for the, for the bumperette right here that looks like they tried to repair it when they, I don't know what they did there, but that's all I can pick on this car. So that's why I'm giving it that nine out of 10, just because of the bumperettes. You can't find them, that's the hard part. So you have to maybe find a donor car to pull them from. Let me start it up and we'll go for a ride. I'm gonna start it up now. Radio works as it should. And then also you have a power antenna, which I'm putting down right now. We'll put it up for the ride. And then let me get back there so you can hear the exhaust. Very healthy, dual exhaust. Come on, let's go. Let's take this thing for a ride. We have our guest, Paul, with us. Say hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> He's an experienced boat captain, so we are driving a land yacht today. Sure, you got your running lights on. <laughs> so I'm gonna fire it off. You don't need to give it gas. It has power windows, as he's showing right now. I'll put mine up so the microphone doesn't have any issues. Also, you have a control panel here for your air condition, so you just click that on, and you're able to get fresh air to come through. You have your wipers right here, which operate as they should, just not run them dry. You have a mist button, and then this is gonna be your light control, and I just love the brushed finish, and it's throughout. So all the trim on the doors, I think in the rear too by your elbow, you're gonna see how nice it is. All the lights are working inside here, so when I open up the door, look at the light. And it's running, by the way. We have tons of room here, so you, I mean, there's no transmission and you have no hump back here either. You also have an armrest for both the front and the rear. In the interior, I'd say it's pretty much mint. It's perfect. You have vents on the bottom, nice glove box. Let's put it in drive and go for a ride. Do you remember these cars, Paul? Sure. Country club car. Yeah. It has a lights in here too, look at that. It's just everything's nice on it. Horn works. <laughs> the power brakes feel really good too. And the steering is like, you could do it with a finger. Nice and smooth. Oh, this is great. Let me turn the radio off. There's a lighter here. It's definitely been used at some point. Let's get to operating speed. How many knots are we going right now? 42. <laughs> Four, well, 40 miles per hour. It has 33,611 miles on the odometer and it rides just like a new car. You have some storage compartments here, your ashtray. Pretty sure you could fit a cigar in there if you wanted. Head, the headliner is in great shape too. We're about to go over some bumps right here and you're gonna see how nice it is. They really do call these land yachts for a reason. Here they come. What sound? Nothing. Unbelievable. If you guys have any questions about this specific car, give us a call, 954-363-2261. What do you think about it? Designed to fly. Designed to fly? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. I love it, the long woods. It's I mean it's literally like a boat on land. I think it's they're 18 feet. It's so smooth. Yeah. You don't even feel the transmission shift. I was shift. just thinking, you know, that smooth that you don't even feel that. Yeah. We'll turn here. And it absorbs all the bumps. So nice. I 
feel that pulling? Yeah, that's because it's front wheel drive. Good. You know, these things are, they actually, they do pretty good burnouts, just so you know. We're not, this is too nice, but I've had, we had an Eldorado one time and it was a 73, so same motor, and you could just mash it and the tires would just break loose in the front. We we're actually building it out and we built the motor. It was close to 600 horse and we put Corvette brakes on it the whole nine yards. Let's see, we'll give it a little bit of gas. All right, we're straight. <laughs> oh, smell the rubber. If you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. I'm gonna drop your seat off. We'll do some drive-bys and you guys can make your decision on if this is the right car for you. If you're looking for a pristine, ready to enjoy, bring to a car show and win, this is it.